Unit Nine: Celebrations That Come at a Price. Read about it. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Every year, tens of thousands of people watch and enjoy the firework display at Taipei 101 to celebrate the coming New Year together. It may never occur to them that in just one hour, the fireworks on New Year's Eve create about 20 percent of the amount of dust produced by the city's vehicles in a whole year. Another celebration causes a similar concern. At the end of the lunar new year in the nearby rural town of Pingxi, numerous pretty lights twinkle in the night sky. Wow! Look at the sky! People may say it is the well-known celebration named Pingxi Lantern Festival. People release over six hundred thousand sky lanterns during the festival. They are launched into the sky, only to burn out and fall back down to the ground later. Unfortunately, the dust and used lanterns are the heavy price the environment pays for these New Year celebrations. For example, the dust from Taipei 101's fireworks contains toxic chemicals which can harm the lungs. In addition, the CO2 given off by the burning fireworks contributes to the greenhouse effect. The dust eventually settles on the surrounding land, polluting the soil. Moreover, used firework materials, which have traces of chemicals, become poisonous waste that is bad for the environment. Similarly, the fallen lanterns can cause environmental damage over miles of the countryside. Year after year. The metal wires of the lantern frames continuously cause soil pollution. What's more, the wires endanger animals because those poor beings may swallow the wires or get caught in them. From time to time, lanterns that fall while still burning have started fires. In fact, due to these dangers, setting off sky lanterns is now illegal in many countries. Despite the negative effects on the environment, no one wants to spoil people's fun by calling off these events. Indeed, they are important parts of Taiwan's culture with many positive aspects. For instance, the world-famous Taipei firework display attracts many tourists, which develops the city's international reputation and economy. In a similar way, the Lantern Festival is a unique ancient tradition which has taken root in Taiwanese people's hearts. Releasing a lantern into the sky during the Lunar New Year is believed to bring good luck. Therefore, Taiwan is faced with the question about how to retain these joyful celebrations. And yet, stop ruining the environment. Fortunately, some practical methods have already been adopted. The Taipei City Government has decreased the number of fireworks at Taipei 101 by 50 percent. One side of the skyscraper is covered with a screen consisting of 140,000 LEDs. This lights up during the display, adding color to the big show. Meanwhile, at the Pingxi Lantern Festival, people are encouraged to use lanterns made of recyclable materials. And to pick up the litter produced by the fallen lanterns. Nevertheless, both approaches are still a long way from being environmentally friendly. Do you have any ideas to help the sustainable preservation of these traditions?